We've seen similar lawsuits in elections past, especially when the race is this close. But have any of them been successful in shifting results? Two on your side's Rob Hackford has some insight tonight. If it seems like the results of recent presidential elections have been more contested, more tightly wound, that's because according to political science professor Grant Reher, they have been. We've had a lot more close presidential elections. We haven't had anything like the blowout that you saw in 1980 and 1984 or in 1964. Years when Lyndon Johnson and then Ronald Reagan held commanding control across the country. Um, you just, we just don't, we haven't had elections like that in recent years. And so we're just in a different political terrain than we've been in the past. A terrain with extremely tight margins that Wednesday led the Trump campaign to file lawsuits in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Georgia. But there are other elections that were extremely, extremely close. The election of 1960 was razor thin margin. The candidates need no introduction. Kennedy v. Nixon, which came down to Illinois. Despite suspected Democratic voter fraud, particularly in Chicago, the Nixon campaign didn't sue. But modern day, what are the options? So in a presidential election like this, certain states are going to have automatic recounts. and other places, there may be challenges that are launched in the states. When it goes through the highest court of the state, it can then be eligible for going to the U.S. Supreme Court. Which the U.S. saw play out in the 2000 election when ballot inconsistencies in Florida prompted legal action, Bush v. Gore, and the Supreme Court ended a recount. Only the second time in U.S. history they got involved, the other in 1876. Similar to 2000, however, if recounts are ordered this year. That will be done with a bank of lawyers from each team looking over the shoulders of these folks and objecting to particular ballots. And then when those objections are rendered, that will have to go to a judge usually. So the final result is likely still days or weeks away. In Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.